Hey, I'm Josh Vosco and we're back in Lockwood City Skylines and I just love just watching the city. Is there any traffic issues? I don't think there is actually. I, I hear you say, is there any traffic issues? No, 75%. I'm okay with that. The roads are busy, but flowing. Like a lot of these are red roads, but the traffic's still moving. So I have no issue with that. Um, unemployment, where do I find that? Um, unemployment, 3%. Again, quite happy with that. Really happy. I would like, if we go to here, I would like in this episode to unlock another tile. Because we're sort of filling up our tiles. We do have this area over here, actually, we've done nothing with. So me, I just feel like the city would be here and then you'd have, you'd have like, um smaller districts like new housing estates on the outskirts and then your villages and that would be further out so maybe not but we do want to expand our living situation because our, our demand at the minute is massively um stacked towards residential and we've got this little area here we haven't really done anything with i've just put a few of these down here just to, I, I i don't really know what to do with this like here's quite nice we put a bit of a modern front on it we do have, actually, where was it? These. These are very, very, like, British council flats, I want to say. That sort of feel to them. Could we put a few of these right? Because this is right on the main road as well, right? So this isn't desirable places to live. If we sort of put a few of those right, how many do these hold? 13 households. Wait, 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 wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'd say they should be 16. So if I go homes, override, we're going to go 16. Because there's 16 balconies. Add custom setting. Save and apply. Does that change all of them? Yes. Okay, so we're going to have 16 homes per thing. Um, can we get any more in on this road? I, I feel like we should be able to put one there. If I just put enough... Wait, if I put you there and then we use the move it mod to bring you across. That should work, right? We could just sort of shimmy you up to that. And then we'll duplicate and try and get another one in here. Because I feel like these are... If we're counting these as council housing, they would squeeze them in. They just would. Possibly one there on the roundabout. Again, not a very desirable place to live. Can we fit one here? Is what I want to know. Uh, you, sir. Wait. Move it mod. You. Can we fit you in there at all? Are you going to overlap on the other side? No, do you know what? That just about fits. I like it. I like the fact we got this path running through here. I'm actually tempted just to add a little bit more path. Um, oh, I've killed it. <laughs> Someone said in the comments they're expecting my, my computer to die from the amount of trees I put in. And that might be a high possibility. Uh, we're going to keep going as long as the game allows. I just want to put just a little walkway in. It does nothing whatsoever. But I feel like it adds to that area quite nicely. Again, we got lots of the base map trees which i'm not hugely a fan of so let's get rid of a lot of those there we go goodbye trees i, I want to keep some so it doesn't feel like we've got odd areas like the trees will still fit in with 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 the ones we've put in we'll just mix them up a bit so we get rid of a lot of that and i, I think that's quite a good transition from like these modern taller buildings which in all fairness are a bit tall but then I think these are. Originally, when I put these in, they were this sort of size, which is sort of what I'd expect for for a, a new... Not be funny, we don't even have these in our, our, our city, but in bigger cities in the UK, I'd expect something in this size, but some of these are absolutely massive. Ginormous, but they're in. They look nice. I quite like it. There's very much... Di you could very much pick out different areas in this city. Manor Park is very different from the Linden District, even though they're all terraced housing. You can see where they've extended the city over the years, and I like that. 
Right, what sort of road do we want in here? Just a little one, right? We'll just have a little UK road. Where are we? Village road, maybe. That's normally a good one. Because there's not too much going on on it. If I bring this out this way, that car park's absolutely heaving. So we're going to bring that down to here. And possibly down to there. And I feel like just one across here, maybe. And we're definitely going to need more car parks. Which is lucky because they come up as parks, right? So we should be okay by putting another car. If I put one in there and then possibly one there, then we'll go back to here and we'll grab some more of these. It would be nice if these sort of varied in color a little bit, but they don't. So we'll put three of those across there like that. Lovely. Um, we're definitely going to put one in there. And I'm tempted to put a couple... Actually, I'm tempted to get some more paths in first. So let's grab... That's a nice path. We'll have some tree path, tree line paths. Nope. I didn't do the tree line path. Never mind. Can we replace that path? We can. Okay. And then we can use the move it mod just to make it look a little bit nicer. Like that. And then... Is there a, maybe a path? Maybe a path. Hello? Can I have a path? Running... Oh, there. That's what I want. Running through here. So let's put a bit of a bend on it. And you can come to there sort of thing. I feel like that's nice. So there's a lot of walking space here. We want people to be able to walk around if they can. Or if they want to. Then we'll put a couple of these along here. Again, Very. Uh, it's a very busy road. You wouldn't really want to live on there. I'd like to line those two up a bit nicer, actually. Maybe make them look like one unit. Which isn't going to happen because one's lower than the other. Wait, can I raise you slightly? Does that work? Yeah, do you know what? That's okay. I can live with that. Then we'll put one there. Do I want... Yeah, we'll put two there. Again, they're not too bothered about keeping desirable spaces. It's all about maximum housing here so if i do that that's yeah i know you've got no water we'll get to that that's quite a nice estate and then if you could fit in there just oh the trees and the mm, that's a little annoying because it comes with its own decoration out the back which sort of overlaps the path wait if i can bring you up to there slightly and then you can come across I can live with that. We can pretend that doesn't exist. Oh, and look. This is what... I wish I never did this area because fires just destroy everything. But I have very little choice right now. Let's go to here. Let's go Roscoe. And we'll see what it gives me because it should give me some of my terraced housing. That's modern. Is that got a garden with it? I don't think it has. These definitely have. So what if we put a couple of odor... Oh, that's not going to fit there either, is it? That's fine. Do you know what? If I do that, then we'll use the move it mod. Just to move those over slightly. Like that. And I like the fact that these would have been quite posh houses originally. And then the council went, do you know what we're going to build behind that? Yes, this sort of ugly estate. It's, a, it's an alright estate, but it, it very much doesn't fit with the beauty of the buildings in front of it. And you find that a lot in the UK. They don't really consider, like, other buildings. They just go, yeah, we'll put this here. That'll be brilliant. I like it. And we might get some of those old tower blocks that we used over, over the way as well, because that would fit in here nicely as well. We should definitely probably mix these up a bit. There we go. Mixing them up. Why have I got no zoning on that road? You, sir. Uh, force zoning. Lovely. Do that. Oh, is it because I did it that? Oh, okay. Because I probably wanted a nice end there. But, eh. You win some, you lose some. Now. Where are we? We were going for these, weren't we? We were just randomly dotting these down. Like so. I quite like the one with the driveway. I'm not going to lie. Because you see that a lot in the UK where they've got rid of the front garden. Because parking is a nightmare. 
like really 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 rubbish parking because these roads were all designed i might put a couple on those ends there uh, these roads were designed for horse and cart they weren't designed for uh, like two or three cars per house or even one car per house doesn't fit if you think how big that house is like if you've got a biggish car you want you to sort of take up more space than what your house is and then you go to these places where people have this impression that they have the right to park outside their house. That's that's a very UK thing. We have the right to park outside our house. I'm like, no, you don't. That's not your your parking space. You don't own that. Yes, it's nice to be able to. But not in like my mum's like that. She thinks she has the right to park outside her house. So no matter, if you want to park outside your house, you should have bought. Oh, there's, there's, there's that bad boy. Look at that. <laughs> um, you should have bought a house that's got a driveway. <laughs> Buying a terraced house, you, you're sort of no... Oh, see, this is prime real estate. I feel like up to this point, we're going to use council housing. And then it will have a bit more modern along the front. It's almost like the council's gone, yeah, if you build these for us and give us so many, we'll allow you to do what you want to do. So if you go along here, like that, we do have a bit of water there, which is a little annoying. Hmm, I quite like that bit, though. It's almost quite natural. Maybe, maybe we'll leave it. Maybe. Where are we? How many of these have we put in? Just one so far. So how about we put another one there and then we go back to those... What? Where Where did they go? They were here somewhere. Oh, loads of bungalows. We should definitely do a bungalow area. See, that's quite a modern looking version of this. Maybe some of the houses were unsafe over this side and they... They built some newer newer buildings. Don't hate that idea. Because they do do that. Uh, I've completely... Oh, there it is. There it is. We're going to get these in here. Um, I almost feel like I need a road in the middle there. All right, can you come up this way for me? But don't join on. Just go there like that. Then we can grab one of these to go there. Another there and one on the end. Lovely. This should definitely be up in the amount of people living in our city. And then you can go there. Yeah, see, I like that. I think that's a really nice transition. Now, do we want a couple more in? I'm thinking this would have been the edge of the estate, maybe. So if we grab that road again, just bring it in here, like so. And that's sort of the edge of the council estate. Like that. And then we're going to get some bushes. Because I do like my bushes. We like to use them as fencing. Because in all fairness, we do use a lot of bushes as fencing in the UK. <laughs> you. Yes. Let's do the settings because I have reloaded. So that means it resets back to normal. Enter auto default off. Excellent. And we'll put some sort of like natural barrier between this estate and... Oh, I'm tempted actually to bring that across here. Like that. Like the council's really done a really weird... Weird sort of deal here where they sewed part of the land off. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I do want to get rid of that sand, though. That sand looks awful. Let's go back. Let's just grab one more. No, not that one. I want the other one. That one. And we'll plop you in there. Perfect. We're going to go to Terrain Tools, I think sand is. Is that where I find it? Yes, look at that. So we can get rid of all that sand there. Cut it right back a bit. And then just add a few trees in. And it'll be quite a nice area to live, really. There we go. Spam some trees. I do like some, some a good amount of trees in my cities. I think trees just make an area look a bit more fulfilled. Now, if we bring this down here into this area, can we bring it up to join onto there? Yes, we can. 
Perfect. So now I'll do that front. And then we can sort of continue this. This sort of effect. Like the more modern buildings along the front here. Although we could get, we could possibly get another road in. What if I, wait, turn that off. What if we come across there like that? To there? Do we get full amounts? Yeah, we do. Urgh. So we could just, we could just put terraced housing in here. Like we could do a tiny, wait, I want to do a tiny little district just here. I almost feel like these would have been posh terraced housing because of the location right on the, the river. Like that. And that'll sort of tie these odd ones over here into it as well. So Pearl Heights, that's a terrible name. Oh no, go back. Uh oh, <laughs> uh, there we go. Lovely. And then we're going to click off that. Uh, what are we going to call it? We're going to call it River View. How about that? Oh no, that's that's not right. <laughs> oh, caps lock off, please. Thank you. River View. Which is sort of a straightforward name. We're going to go themes. We're going to go enable themes. And we're going to go uh, Vosco Victorian Terraced. Theme might not work like expected. Not all buildings are loaded. Uh, but I've been using them. So they're definitely there. A million percent they're there. British industry. Wait. I'm sure it's those ones I'm, I, that I want to use. UK Terraced Housing. Hmm, wait, 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 wait. What is the Linden District? No, Manor Park, because that's the ones we're using. Themes. Our Victorian Terraced. Which is what I chose, right? Themes. Our Victorian Terraced. There we go, lovely. Don't lie to me, game. It'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to have to do some weird bits and pieces on the edges here. Because we need, we need blocks of four to make our housing. So if I do that... And then that's fine as well. We can definitely get blocks of four in there. He says, apart from there. But that's fine. We can put those in manually. That can go to there. That can go to there. Hmm. And then the rest we may have to put in manually. Which I, I, I don't have any issue with. No issue whatsoever. So if I go to the search bar, we type in Roscoe. Because I name all the little assets I do, Roscoe. Because that just makes life... Hello? So much easier. There we go. Are you the garden one? No, it's you guys, isn't it? That one there. Lovely. Obviously, the buildings is popping in that the game's putting in have to level up. The ones I'm putting in are already leveled up. We're just going for it. That one there. Lovely there. Keep going. No! Oh, that's annoying. You can go there. Perfect. Couple more. I'm hoping that doesn't mess up the zoning on the other side of the road, which it shouldn't do. I'd imagine it'll be fine. And that's good there. Perfect. Then we can get a couple more just here. And I think that's probably it. I'm actually tempted just to... Wait, 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 wait. And we use the move it mod. And we select that one and that one. And then we do... No, no. Undo. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> okay, let's try that again. One there. One there. Lovely. Then we come out to that. Then we grab the movement mod. And we duplicate those. Hello? Can I... That's duplicate, right? Duplicate. Okay. I don't know what it's doing. Duplicate. There we go. That's better. And then we can put those in there just like that. Those can go in there. And I think that should be good. We'll pull a few trees in. Just fill that area in. Fill a bit in the middle. Just like so. And the rest should fill in on their own. That's what I'm thinking. Now, housing's gone right down. We do need some commercial, which is... Very odd, because we've put a lot of commercial over here. 
And at one point they were saying they didn't have enough items to sell, which sort of leads me to think we've got industry problems, but we've got hardly any demand for industry whatsoever. So not entirely sure on that one. How's our buses doing over here? Are people still using them? Yep, there's still plenty of people. Look at the people down there in the, in the underground. That's so cool. There's just people walking everywhere. Lovely. So we filled that area in now, which I actually think that works really, really nicely. I think this is a beautiful estate. Has it boosted our numbers much? What are we at now? Um, 54,000. We need 70,000. So we're still a way off. Hmm. What was this area over here we had? That's a big area. We could put a lot of housing in there, but I don't particularly want to come over here until this area is sort of done. I feel like we would have terraced housing in the, ta like over here. I feel like that would definitely be a thing. So I'm, oh, do we want to go parking? We should definitely go parking because almost all terrace roads in the UK have parking down both sides. And the council's found that they can charge for that parking. You know, you have to buy a permit in a lot of the roads now. And you're parking road anyway, right? So if I bring you up to there, then, oh, no. Where was I going? About there? About there sounds good to me. No. No. <laughs> Behave road. There we go. Lovely. And the great thing about terraced housing is you don't get huge numbers per building, but you get quite a lot of buildings in there. And I feel like this would cap off the new, like the extended university area quite nicely. What we do at this point, I have no idea. That can come straight down there. Onto that road. I'm okay with that. And then do we do this as well? Probably. What if we just went up here? Like that. To there? Yes. Okay, I'm okay with that. Then you can... Mm, do I want you to... Probably just in a straight line you'd go, right? Well, that's going to really make spawning difficult. Maybe we'll leave that area there. And then just go there. And then we can grab a new district. We're going to carve this out. I'm going to carve right down, down here. All the way down. There we go. And then this area is going to be completely different. This is going to be more terraced housing. Just tying it all together. Because this is the old build. So there would definitely be terraced housing here somewhere. Maybe this was an old estate, an old part that's been ripped down and rebuilt into the modern era. Who knows? But it's definitely getting surrounded by terraced housing. <laughs> A million percent. There we go. Lovely. What are we going to call this area, though? That's the question. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Myrtle Hills. Well, it's not really... Hit. I quite like the name. Myrtle. Myrtle... Myrtle Way. How about that? Myrtle Way. If you can think of a better name, let me know in the comments below. Very open to um, suggestions. Again, Victoria. Yes, I know. It may not work, but it will. Because it's working over here. It's, work it's working over here somewhere. There. Looking amazing. Again, we may mix this up a little bit. Let's get some path in, so we tidy up these edges. And then we have to figure out where we're going to put some retail. Because we do need more retail, apparently. Right, paths in there, lovely. And there, which tidies those edges off beautifully. I like that. And then you can come down to the roundabout, I suppose. And then if we just use the movement mod, we could go along and tidy them up, which I can do at a later date. I just like it to sort of match up. I think that looks quite nice. And then maybe we'll put a cycle path down the other way. Down the other side. 
See, I don't know if people... Do cyclists choose... Because they can ride on pavements anyway, if I'm correct, on paths. So do they choose cycle paths over... Do they choose cycle paths over normal paths? Would they cross over to get to this? Is what I'm interested in. If I do that to there... That to there, lovely. Not at the moment, university. Little busy. And that down to there, perfect. Does this join on? It doesn't join on very well, does it? Not overly. We'll keep an eye, see if it, people actually use it. I quite like it being a different colour. That to there, perfect, perfect, perfect. And then you're going to come up to there and where you go from there, I have no idea. Is that the best one to use? Did that sort our zoning out at least? No, see, I think that's wrong. I don't think that's a good path. What about that one? If I replace... Yeah, see that... If I replaced it with that... Oh, I'm already using that one. What about that one? Nope. That's rubbish as well. What about that? That one works. And I quite like it. I like that it's both pedestrian and psychopath. We could do that on the other side, in all fairness. Just to match it up. The council have spent some money here putting in psychopaths. Lovely. Now let's grab some buildings. And we'll just sort of fill half of it in for now, I think. Just there, there. And are you going to fit... Yeah, you should do. You've got a little bit of a gap in the middle, but I can live with that. Just like that. Okay. Um, now we need commercial. Have we got any really good commercial buildings? Event hall we've used. Factory hall. Grand mall. Have we put... That's not the, what we put there, is it? No. I feel like that would fit in over here, though. We did want something to go into this little area. What do you come with landscape wise? You come with a little bit of car parking. Not much. So we could probably look at extending the parking. So like if I just put three of those I reckon is going to fit across there. And then we'll use the move it mod just to move them into position. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Because we've got some of those overlapping. Yeah, those are just boxes. Because, oh, uh, hmm. No, don't move them all. I just, look, I just want to move that one over. So that's going to come to there. Okay, so maybe this one can go to there. It's saying it needs a road connection. You're definitely, definitely on the road. Oh, you have to be facing that way, do you? Okay. Fair enough. So we can put you there, and then we can duplicate it and put another one there. And another one there. Straighten those up a little bit, because they do look a little odd. Uh, no. There. Thank you very much. And you can go in there as well. Get rid of that tree. Mr. Tree. Go away. See, that's nice. That's a nice little area. I'm probably just going to tarmac this, I feel. I feel like this would be a very pedestrianized area. Yes, we've got the tree there. But we, we've also got those planters, right, in the farming that we used last time. Where were they? They're here somewhere. There. Those. They're almost ideal for along here. And a couple there. Yeah, see, that looks nice. It may cause issues on this road. Are you giving way there? Because I, th I feel like you should be. What's the hold up over here? Is it traffic lights? Do we have traffic lights there? We do have traffic lights. Hmm. None of this housing's building either, is it? Does that mean I have to just add one? Normally, if you add one, they get on with it. There we go. They're getting on with it. They're going to realise they've got no water, which is something we're going to fix now. 
You to there. You all the way down to there. Thank you very much. Every other road should cover it. So you to there and to there. And then finally, we might as well do that one because we're right at the end of that area. You've got no electricity. That could be an issue as well. Um, going back to here. What's that? Luxury hotel. That's very modern and very big. That's what? Hall? Uh, meh. Quite like the idea of a hotel being over here. Like, could we fit you on the edge there? Without disrupting my car parks? No, but I tell you what we could do. What if we just nudged you around that way? And did that. Actually, I feel like you would go that way. So you're facing the car park. That seems like a better option. Again, what's wrong with you? Not enough workers. Shelves are getting empty. Yeah, see, not enough goods, look. That's the issue. And I feel like a lot of people are going to want to come here. So we may have to up our parking styles. Let's have a look. We've got a multi-story here. I feel like that would fit in nicely. It's quite ugly. Could we put it that side? I feel like just across the road might be nicer. Not for the people who live here, of course. They're, they're not going to be happy that this big, ugly monstrosity has been put here, but needs must and all that. Do you know what? You can have some trees. That'll uh, save you from putting up with it. A little bit of trees going on. I quite like this building. I don't think I'd ever see it in any of the UK cities I, I, I go to. But we... It is a game after all. We still have to include some things that we need. And I just think shopping centers, like big areas, like that, it's going to bring in tourism and people are going to want to come and see it is a good idea. Um, what else have we got? We could do another retail park. We haven't done one of those in ages. Like, there's a retail park. Is that the only... There's a bit up here, right? Yeah, a little bit there. We could do with a supermarket over this way. That might not be a bad idea. So what are you? Lidl's No, Give me a big one. Sainsbury's. Yes. Uh, I don't know how you would work with parking, if I'm honest. I feel like we could put Sainsbury's over here. And then make that into car parking. So if we just grab a little... Uh, village road, I feel. Oh no, that one with the, the double yellow lines. That makes sense. We'll put that in here. Would they build that right by the cathedral? Hmm. Maybe not. It'd probably be more over this way when this was developed. Which, we've got a supermarket there, though. Not that that's unusual, having two supermarkets by each other, because it's really, really, really not. Um, which road do I want to come off of? I'm going to come off of there. We're going to come down here and we're going to make this our little Sainsbury's area. So that's Sainsbury's, right? Yes. So you can go there. Then we can go to parks and we can grab the big car parks. And again, I'm not using multi-stories because it's very rare for any of the supermarkets around by me to have multi-stories. Um, I think the Asda built one, and that's about it. If we go up to there, we could get some really good parking in here. We do have to just nudge this road. So if I grab that node, that node, that node, and that node, and then we just nudge it there. Perfect. Excellent. Which means, I'm hoping, when we put this one in there, that'll fit perfect. And then we can just grab a couple more... Smaller car parks and a petrol station. I don't have a Sainsbury's petrol station. You'll just have to use your imagination. And that'll be on the way in and out, right? So if we can get it on this road. There. Perfect. Happy with that. That suits me down to the ground. We can get a bit of concrete in there. A bit in there. 
Yeah, that looks really nice. Um, we probably would have paths going through for pedestrians. So let's go to sort of a normal path. Normal path. That one there will be fine. We'll grab that. We'll put a path through there like that. And then a path, definitely a path through here like that. Million percent. And then they'd probably have just a little bit of room around it. If you think about it, like the lorries would have to get in somewhere. So that would probably be down the side here. I'm not going to put the lorries in, but they probably would be in here somewhere. So we're going to pretend like this is like the backstage area. Yeah, the lorries are going to come in here. It's all going to be good. And then we'll have some bushes across there. They've got a little backstage area. They're happy. Excellent. Then we're going to have bush coming up there. And then over to the garage. I might just go all the way along here, actually. Just like that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And then we'll grab some trees. Um, can we put a few trees in? I don't want too many, just a few. Yeah, lovely. Okay, we've still got huge commercial demand. Huge. And you've got not enough products, right? Not enough goods to sell. I may have to do some research into why that is. Is it because we're not producing the goods or the goods aren't getting into the city? Oh, God. Adding more down here was probably not a good idea because this area is already... Quite a busy area. We could do with another link. The only bridge we got is there. Like there's a bridge over there, right? Which is our tram bridge. I don't know how that would tie in. But it might. And we could. There's nothing over here. No one's come in from this way. But all the trucks are coming down the motorway into here. Could we give them an easier way in? Probably, but that would involve ripping all of this out. And I don't have the energy. <laughs> I don't want to rip it out. I really like how it looks. That's the issue. That's very much the issue. I like it. So let's just put you along there. That's the edge of our university for the time being. This area will fill up slowly. It's just we could definitely expand the town centre, the shops around here. I feel like that's ready for the next episode. We'll get the commercial in. Hopefully these houses will carry on building. But our demand for residential has dropped massively. I really like this area. This is this is probably one of my favourites now. I think it just looks very natural and fits in very, very well. Oh, there is variations. They've got blue back. The balconies are varied. Okay. Oh, and the little strip on the front. Oh, I like that. That's very nice. Hopefully, this traffic here is just people moving in. Because these new houses would have people living there, right? Right, that's bound to be the reason. Mm-hmm. We may have to look at our buses as well. I feel like the intercity buses coming into this area might... Mm, it, it just adds so much traffic into the area. And we could do, we've got our, our sort of custom built bus station over here, which we could use as well. And I really like that. I think that that's very British as well. It just feels very UK. Let me know what you want to see in the next episode. Do you want to see me extend the city centre, the old town as it were, and get some more shops in? Or should we play around with tr like public transport, buses and things like that? Sort of reconsider, because don't be funny, we've added buses as we've gone along. So if we look at them, they're probably a bit all over the place. Yeah, there's sort of lines here and there and here and there. We are covering most of it though, right? There's no buses whatsoever in this area or this area. So we could probably do with looking at that. Yeah, maybe the next episode will be a public transport episode unless you tell me differently if you've enjoyed this episode hit that like button if you haven't done already please subscribe it does help the channel and until next time i'll see you again